Hey you guys, it's Dustin here with Aztec Dragons. Uh, we've got another unboxing here today. Um, really excited about this one. It's a box full of things that I've never owned, but um, they're very you know relatable to things I have owned, so I've, I've kind of got the knowledge. But um, things that I wanted to kind of uh, you know get to know and, and, and learn about. So. We ordered these in. These are things that uh, we'll keep for a little while just to make sure everything's good and healthy. Um, but if anything interests you, go ahead and give us a, 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 a buzz. Go ahead and message us or whatever you'd like. Um, we upload these videos to YouTube. Just uh, It's easier that way for us. Um, but we have other social media formats. We've got Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. So you can if you haven't already, go ahead and like or subscribe to those things and we'll get you guys updates. We plan to go through these um, uh, individually later on too. So really excited. Uh, yesterday, to be honest, was like Christmas Eve for me waiting for these guys and uh, finally got them here. So we've got nine different species. We'll be just kind of glancing at them today, making sure they're good and healthy. We'll get them into their enclosures and then I plan to do some individual species updates. We can do videos on each one and kind of their upkeep and, and what they require in case you guys ever decide you want to own one. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. I've already cut uh, the, the cardboard open um, and we'll just go ahead and get to it. So uh, um, we are doing a video off of uh, my iPhone and um, so hopefully that's good enough. I, I plan to someday get uh, an actual Cam recorder and, and do do you guys some better videos because I know that it's probably not the best quality but anyway I'm not sure what these are because I haven't opened each one yet I just opened the box like I said so first time looking at these let's see what we've got we've got oh toke we've got two toke geckos now these guys can be a little bit temperamental um, try to get some of this paper out of here for you guys to see in there like I said earlier we'll do um, some individual box or individual species um, cool. now like I said earlier these guys can be kind of temperamental so I don't really want to get them out and handle them a ton. You can hear that noise that they make, it's pretty cool. Let me get a little upset. Super cool looking. Sorry guys, this is just horrible TV. There we go. So I will get them out separately on my own. I'm sure you guys would love to see me get bit, but I'd rather not. So um, <clears throat> kind of set these guys aside and then uh, do some individual photos and, and videos of them later on. But it looks like they're doing good, good sized. Set them aside here. Okay. And here we have a little golden gecko. Super cool. I'm not gonna go into the individual information on each one of these. I'm just gonna give you a good look at them and uh, their their common names. And then in the individual videos, we'll get into them and talk about them, what they eat, their, their care, their husbandry, all of that. Looks to be doing okay. Cool. Let's keep going. 
Oh, this guy is tiny. Here we have an Egyptian sand gecko. Super tiny. So cute. I don't know how well you guys can see that through this. I'm going to maybe try to pop this top. I hope he doesn't run off on me. Give you guys just a little bit better look. He's so cute. I don't want to handle him and stress him out. It's just so tiny. You know, once they've had some time to calm down and get into their own enclosures and kind of acclimate a little bit when we do that that'll be when we do those um, individual videos and then maybe we can handle them at that point but for now let's kind of let him be seems to be doing okay looks a little stressed out um typically shippy shippers will put stuff in like this just so they have something to hang on to i mean look at the size difference between him and the rest of this cup. We don't want him banging around in there in shipment. So it gives them something to hang on to, a little, feel a little bit more secure, but also that, you know, they don't go side to side in these things. All right. Here, now this guy, I've never seen one of these, but I am stoked about these. This guy, I don't know how friendly they are, but this is called a crocodile gecko. Now it's not uh, like the skinks. It's not like a red-eyed crocodile skink. This is a gecko and they call them that because of their rough skin. And just kind of their overall looks. Okay, let me get him. Thank you. 